How to Train Your Dragon, the video game based on the movie How to Train Your Dragon. Training dragons is easy. In fact, it's a lot easier than training a dog. All you really have to do is get your dragon really hungry, like starve them for a week, then just let them loose in some crowded city. They don't require training to do what they're going to do, but those are like bad dragons. The dragons in this game are good dragons because it's a kid's game. Oh, you're sure to become a better dragon after this. The dragons I like are like the rain of fire dragons, like the kind where you step outside and they eat you. Yeah, that's not these. These are like happy, friendly dragons. These are the kinds of dragons that you could invite over to your house and know that they would not eat your entire family. Unless they were really hungry. Can you ever really train a dragon? Deep questions, probably not answered in this game. I'll say this, if you like the movie, or if your kids like the movie, they'll probably like this game. We're watching the Xbox 360 version, this is also available for PS3, Wii, and Nintendo DS. This one's published by Activision, and allows the player to collect a dungeon full of dragons, take care of them, modify them, and train them. How to Train Your Dragon, the game, is almost like a fighting game in disguise. There's a storyline and you run around like an adventure game, but it really focuses on training your dragons, learning new button combinations, and fighting in tournaments. Fight. How much pummeling can one dragon take? See, it's a fighting game between dragons. So the combat is not exactly as fast or fluid as, say, Samurai Showdown or Street Fighter 2. How to Train Your Dragon is not exactly aimed at the same market. This is for fans of the movie who want to play as the dragons. And for what it's worth, it works quite well. In the training cave, or whatever they call it, you learn your button combinations. You learn how to block, shoot fireballs, different dragons do different things, and obviously as you play through the game, you collect and unlock lots of new dragons that each have their own thing and different moves. There's a lot in this game to keep you or your kids busy if they like the movie. Because after each fight, your dragons get worn down, they get tired, and you have to run around and collect things or do side missions for people who then give you recipes and, you're, and you attack lambs and they immediately turn into lamb chops, which you then feed to your dragon to make them happy and ready for the next fight. You can also play in the arcade mode where you use dragons from the game or all of your unlocked modified dragons. You can play one player or two player against a friend locally. It's a game you could even play with your kids if you buy this one for them. It's got the usual complement of trophy mint points and gives the player lots of opportunities to gain experience and upgrade your dragon by training again and again. It almost has burning people with monsters and cutting them in half a dude. Almost. They'd lose their E rating if it actually had that. Even though the dragons have sharp, pointy claws, you can't really use them. I'm making sharp, pointy claw movements behind the microphone that you can't see. I think I've seen way too much Monty Python. And that's How to Train Your Dragon, the video game. What I need is a game called How to Train My Dog Not to Eat My Sandwich When My Back is Turned. Dogs are so very good at that. 